Things are not looking good for Joe Biden when it comes to the general election, but they are looking pretty good for Donald Trump. Let me show you what I mean. This is from Breitbart News. Donald Trump leads or ties Joe Biden in 75 percent of the 2024 swing states, according to a new poll. Former President Donald Trump leads or ties or is tied with President Joe Biden in six of the eight 2024 swing states. Uh, state polling is beginning to show. Uh, taken as a whole, the surveys are significant due to Biden. Biden's 2020 victories in all eight of the states now considered 2024 battlegrounds. The most recent polling in each state depicts Trump's dramatic lead. Yes, dramatic. Uh, Michigan, Trump is plus four in an Emerson uh, poll. In uh, Wisconsin, he's plus nine in the same poll. Well, the same company. Uh, in Minnesota, Biden is plus eight. Eight from the Florida Atlantic uh, University Political Communication and Public Opinion Research Lab, Main Street Research. They should probably shorten that. Pennsylvania, Trump is tied with Joe Biden. According to a Fox News poll, Trump is plus seven in Georgia from a YouGov poll and is plus five in Arizona from a Fox News poll, plus 18 points in Nevada. These, by the way, many of these are outside the margin of fraud. Um, not that I'm saying fraud happens because I'm not allowed to on YouTube. Uh, and in Virginia, Biden is plus six points. Uh, OK, so Biden is plus eight in Minnesota, not Trump plus eight. That was my mistake. Um, and then Biden is plus six points in Virginia. Trump's polling lead over Biden is due to the ongoing political realignment upending Biden's 2024 intersectional coalition. Republican insiders told Breitbart News the swing state uh, uh, the swing states uh, needed to win the White House are all coming back to Trump. Republican strategist Garrett Ventry told Breitbart News he is building a winning, diverse coalition of working class voters and minority voters. By the way, he could potentially take both Virginia and Minnesota, depending on how well Democrats are able to be energized. If they're not as energized for Joe Biden this time as they were in 2020 in both Minnesota and Virginia, which may start looking like it is potentially going to be the case, we won't know for sure till November, Donald Trump could take them simply because the, the Democrat voters stay home. Uh, it's simple. They know Joe Biden's policies harmed them and Donald Trump's policies helped them, he added. Democrat inroads with black, Latino and Asian voters deteriorated to the lowest point in 60 years. Polling from Gallup and Siena College recently revealed Hispanic and black men could vote for Trump in proportions not seen in American politics since the 1950s. Biden's disastrous open border, out of control crime, crippling inflation and third world lawfare against his political rival is catapulting Trump back in to the White House, said Mike Davis, founder and president of the pro-Trump Article 3 project. The non-white identification with Democrats is at its all time or is at its lowest since the 1960s before the civil rights movement and the 1964 election, which aligned black voters with the Dems and against the GOP. Financial Times columnist and chief data reporter John Byrne Murdoch explained on X. The political realignment is also among class and income demographics in 2020. The richest third of voters favored the Dems for the first time, and the Republicans improved with the poorest. Uh, Byrne Murdoch wrote, The GOP now appeals to working class and middle class voters of all ethnicities because wanting to keep more of your money and pay less of it to the government has always been a Republican value. It's just now Democrat voters, the poor Democrat voters, are starting to see that Democrats don't actually care about you. Now, make no mistake, Republicans don't either. Republicans are absolutely terrible. They're just not quite as terrible as the Democrats. Let's defeat one, and then we can destroy the other. Uh, Car Caroline Le Leavitt, uh, the national press secretary for the Trump campaign, said Biden's deteriorating support is due to his far left policies and do not resonate with independents. That's also seeming to be true. There are more than 100 polls showing President Trump crushing Joe Biden, including recent polling that has him leading in every key battleground state and winning independence by double digits, Leavitt said. 
Joe Biden no longer has a base as key Democrat constituencies such as African Americans, Hispanic Americans, and women are supporting President Trump because they are sick and tired of crooked Joe's record high inflation, open borders, crime, and chaos, she added. Trump appeared to spur the realignment in 2016, forcing the Republican Party to identify with working class citizens instead of college-educated, upper-income, and big-business voters, according to Patrick Ruffini, the co-founder of Echelon Insights. By the way, a lot of college Educated people are also starting to realize that it's not the smart thing to do to vote Democrat. Just goes to show you don't need a college education to be intelligent, although some of the dumbest things that anybody says or thinks are almost exclusively done, thought, and said by college-educated morons. Uh, Trump b- may have perfectly embo- or embodied his old Republican stereotype, but under his watch, the party now has more people in it on the bottom half of the economic ladder without college diplomas, Rafini explained in Time. This is a, p- a net positive for the GOP's ability to win elections in the future, provided the GOP actually wants to win elections, uh, given that more than six in ten voters don't have a college degree, but that's different in 2020, or but what's different in 2024 is an election playing out under an umbrella of economic anxiety, he continued. And that's pushing more working class voters into Trump's camp, especially non-white voters commonly aligned with the Democratic Party, because the Democratic Party has shown that they are in no way aligned with their base, the poor people they claim to care about, because they've actually been lying about caring about anybody forever. It's just now it's becoming more obvious. Let me know what you think in the comments, then head over to my Locals page, thearthurnicks.locals.com, for exclusive content you won't find anywhere else. Till next time, thanks for watching.